In mid-September, I had the opportunity to visit this hydroelectric facility about an hour outside of Vilnius. It was part of an investor event hosted by Ignitus, and a free tour of a special site was just too hard to resist. I learned that this is essentially the largest battery in Lithuania, and maybe even the Baltic states. But let me explain why for today's video. First off, let me say that I don't know too much about the technical side of electricity, so any talk of megawatts, kilovolts, or megawatt hours is just me repeating numbers from a website. And so do correct me or add more detail in the comment section if you have more information than me. But moving on, when most people think of batteries, they think of this, or this, or this. But if we take a very, very broad definition of battery as being something that stores energy slash power, then this facility at Kronis in the Kaciadoris district is essentially one giant battery. And that's what truly fascinates me. According to Ignitus, the Kronis Pump Storage Hydroelectric Power Plant is the only power plant of its kind in the Baltic states. As I just mentioned, it's located in the north of the town of Kronis in the Kaciadoris district. To be able to get into the facility to see it, you'll need to have your ID checked by armed personnel of the Vieshoyo Sogumo Toniba, which gave the whole experience quite an interesting start. And how does it work as a form of energy storage? Well, if I were to explain things as simply as possible, assuming you haven't figured it out already, when there is a surplus of energy produced by other sources around Lithuania, that electricity goes to Kronis to pump water 100 meters uphill from the lower Konis Lagoon to the higher man-made Kronis Basin. This often happens at night when energy consumption is lower and some power plants can't fully shut down, and they still have to operate at some minimal level. Or maybe those big wind farms will continue to spin, again generating more power than is needed. And then when electricity demand rises, usually as people wake up and go to work, the water can be allowed to flow downhill through the turbines to generate electricity. And to me, that is just so cool. As Ignita states on its website, the purpose of this pumped storage hydroelectric plant is to balance the production and consumption of electricity, as well as to prevent and eliminate failures in the energy system. This facility also serves as Lithuania's secondary power reserve. The facility is able to manage the imbalances in the system, regulating the voltage and frequency, and can restart operations after a systemic failure, which is called a black start. For those who are more knowledgeable on this topic, it has a total capacity of 900 megawatts made up of four units, each providing 225 megawatts. It has a cycle efficiency ratio of 0.74. Four years were spent on detailed designing, and the technical project was accepted in 1978, and the main building was completed in 1984. For the original plan, the Soviets envisioned eight units with each turbine generating 200 megawatts of electricity, with a total electrical capacity of 1600 megawatts. But then later, this amount was reduced to four units, but there was increased capacity of 225 megawatts per turbine. The first unit began operating in 1992, while the fourth one came online in 1998. In terms of my personal experience there, as a very, very small-time Ignitus shareholder, it was all pretty cool. We had two Ignitus staff explain things to us and answer questions. Apparently someone said we shouldn't or couldn't take photos in here, but then people went ahead and had their phones out taking photos and videos anyways, and no one said anything. And then also I see a lot of interior photos on the internet, so I don't think what I'm showing you here reveals anything that hasn't been seen before. And then so what you see here in this room are the hybrid pumps slash turbines, which pump water uphill, but can spin in the opposite direction to generate electricity. And then we got to go up here to the basin, which essentially stores the potential energy. We were told that the Konus Lagoon was not allowed to fluctuate by more than 20 centimeters under normal operation of the pumps and generators. I guess this is an environmental protection guideline, and then we were also told that fish have somehow ended up in this man-made basin, despite no intentional efforts to populate it with fish. The guide said that maybe birds had accidentally dropped them in, but no one knows for sure. Someone in the tour joked that fishing in the basin was part of the employee bonus. But yeah, apparently employees are allowed to fish in this basin. It looks like a very nice, calm place to go fishing, so I wouldn't mind. But hopefully they give you enough warning before the water starts to flow down for electricity generation. Also during the tour, we were told that the basin and lagoon are deep enough that winter operations are just fine, even with a top layer of ice. And so, yeah, that is a little bit about this really cool, unique power generation and storage facility in Lithuania. 
And then I hope you enjoyed a little bit about my personal experience getting to see it. And then as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. If you enjoy this channel and want to support me in making more videos, please consider becoming a Patreon patron. There's a link down in the description for you to check out. Thanks so much for watching.